Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the difference between let and var inside JavaScript. So basically these are two different ways of declaring variables. Let is the newer version whereas var is the older version. So in modern JavaScript you want to make sure in most cases when you can you want to use the let keyword. So let's see an example of the let keyword and then we're going to see how it compares to the older var keyword. So inside the HTML for this document it looks like this right now inside the JavaScript let's declare a variable using the let keyword so we can say let a is equal to 5 all done so now I can console I can console.log a and we'll get 5 in the console I can save this and refresh and we have 5 right there so pretty straightforward we can also reassign the value of a we can say a is equal to 10. Once again, I can save this and refresh the browser and we get 10 right there. Once again, pretty standard. Okay, so let's see how let benefits over the var keyword. So first off, you cannot redefine the variable. Um, you can reassign the value, but you can't actually redefine it. So for example, if I was to change this to let a, is equal to 10. I can save this and refresh and we get this right here. A has already been declared. Okay, so once we have A, we can't say, okay, let's make A again. It's been done once and that's it. This is opposed to the var keyword. If I was to change this to var A, okay, I can save this and refresh and now that's perfectly fine. So that's one thing um, that the let keyword restricts you on compared to the var keyword. Okay, so it just makes for safer, um, more concise programming. All right, let's talk about the scoping. Okay, so that's the main thing, right? The let keyword is scoped to the block, so it's block scoped, which means if I was to create a new if statement here, I can say if 10 is greater than 2 which it always is, okay? If that's the case, I'm gonna declare a variable with the let keyword called a equal to five. I can then console.log a, okay? And down here, I can now console.log a once again, all right? I can now save this and refresh and we get this right here. a is not defined. We have five here, that's inside the if statement, but down here we get that. So, this line right here. Once the if statement has finished, A disappears. Okay, so that's because it is scoped to the block. Once it leaves these curly braces, this block, it disappears. Okay, so that's all it means when people say that something is block scoped. Okay, let's change this to var. All right, I can save this and refresh and now we get 5. So, once again, var is not block scoped. Uh, var is not block scoped. So, it's scoped to the function. It's function scoped. So, if you declare var in a function and you leave the function and you, and you, and you try and use that variable, then um, in that case, you get the same error that says a is undefined. So, you want to use let in most cases now because it's more of a, um, a safer way to program. Um, it sort of, you know, keeps things concise and restricted and it's going to um, avoid a lot of bugs that could occur in your, in your JavaScript. Alright, and that is all for let versus var inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.